Jey Uso has been a pivotal figure in the Bloodline's success, so when he shockingly super kicked Roman Reigns and exited the heel faction last year, it stunned everyone. However, the landscape has shifted since then. After Roman took a hiatus following WrestleMania 40, Solo Sokoa stepped up to lead the Bloodline. Recently, the original Tribal Chief returned to WWE as a babyface. Interestingly, Jey Uso once mentioned that he wouldn't be opposed to reuniting with his brother and cousin to form a new babyface stable. Given what Roman Reigns has been experiencing lately, recent hints suggest that the Yeet Master may be secretly orchestrating a plan set in motion by the original Tribal Chief after a private reunion. Recently, Jey Uso has been getting closer to Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. Despite his history of fierce battles with the Archer of Infamy, it seems that Jay and Priest have put their differences aside behind the scenes. This newfound alliance suggests that Jay might be strengthening his relationship with Damian Priest to ensure the former World Heavyweight Champion is prepared to support Reigns during the inevitable Bloodline Civil War. Additionally, with Ripley's support, the Eradicator could play a crucial role in helping Jay persuade Priest to align with Roman Reigns. Since moving to Raw, Main Event J has also built strong relationships with other babyfaces on the roster. For instance, he and Sami Zayn have mended their past differences and even teamed up against the Judgment Day. J has also maintained a friendly rapport with superstars like Randy Orton and Seth Rollins. This all hints at the possibility that Roman Reigns and Jey Uso might be quietly working together to rally support against Solo's bloodline. However, this remains speculative at this stage. Roman Reigns lost his undisputed WWE Universal Championship to Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 40. Recently, former WWE writer Vince Russo shared his thoughts on who the original Tribal Chief might face at next year's WrestleMania. The Rock vs. Roman Reigns has been a dream match for wrestling fans for years, and Russo believes this showdown should headline WrestleMania 41. Earlier this year, the final boss hinted at a future clash with Cody Rhodes. However, Russo suggested that the Great One and the American Nightmare should not face off at the showcase of the Immortals next year, as the 39-year-old hasn't been involved in a compelling storyline since becoming undisputed WWE Champion. Well, if you're asking me, I would want to see The Rock and Roman. That's just my personal taste, but I'm sure a lot of people would want to see the Rock and Cody, he said. Meanwhile, Roman is currently entangled in a storyline with Solo Sokoa's bloodline. It will be intriguing to see how this narrative unfolds in the coming weeks. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!